do as well as gym friends. I hope this finds you well. Welcome to a brand new stretching video. Today our stretches are going to be a little bit longer, a little bit deeper, and then I'm going to add a little bit of flow, a little bit of breath in between, just to open you up, make you feel good. Um, I've definitely noticed with my clients, people are feeling a little bit more stiff as we head into the sort of the depth of the summer. Um, people are mowing their lawns, people are a lot more active. Um, so let's open up, open up the shoulders, open up the chest, mobilize the lower body and just help you feel really good. Let's start in child's pose. Everyone's favorite position to start in. Big toes touch, knees open wide, sink on down. And just take as long as you need to, to come down here. Maybe just start on your forearms, rocking from side to side. And then slowly but surely, come a little bit lower. You can keep your elbows bent at this point. And just make a little pillow with your hands, one fist on top of the other. And again, just rocking those hips, just slowly side to side. And then extend one arm out in front, and then the other. And just notice how tight you're feeling, maybe in the upper back, shoulders in this position. If this is too much, you can take your arms behind you. And then come to a place of stillness. Let's add our breath into our stretching. So inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Two more, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. And for this last one, if you can, forehead all the way to the floor. Big inhale. Big exhale. Beautiful. Come on up. Let's go right to those sides. So keeping the right hip, right glute rooted down. Moving those hands over to the left. Big inhale, big exhale, two more breaths here. Feel that stretch down the right side of the body. And then slowly walk your hands over to the right. Oh, I'm feeling quite the release already. So if I had my hands on you, I'd be guiding that left hip, left glute back behind you. Breathe into it, big inhale. Big exhale and just a reminder, anytime if this is too much on the shoulders, you can just place one fist on top of the other. Make sure you're turning up to feel the side stretch though. Beautiful, and then come all the way back through center. We're gonna add a little bit of flow here. Inhale, come on up. Exhale down. So a lot of people love this one. We're certainly heading into the hip flexors, front of the body. We can go a little bit deeper each time. Inhale, come forward, chest forward, eyes forward. Can you lift those feet up behind you? Exhale, flow back. Two more, inhale. And exhale, Whew, this feels good. Last one, we're gonna hold if you can. Inhale, come forward. Drop those hips down, feet towards each other, roll those shoulders back. Beautiful, one more breath. And exhale all the way back down. Nice, come into tabletop, right into cat cow. Inhale, chest forward, eyes forward. Exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, draw the belly button towards the spine. Beautiful, two more, just like that. Inhale, chest forward, eyes forward, roll those shoulders back. Exhale, push the ground away and around. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Nice, let's get into that upper back a little bit. As I said, uh, tight shoulders between the shoulder blades, upper back has been quite a common tightness area. So let's add a little bit of that in. Release the right hand from the floor, place it right on that shoulder. And inhale, open up that chest, open up that elbow. Exhale, tap the elbow to the inside of the left arm. 
two more inhale open up the belly hold the chest exhale back down last one inhale open exhale place that hand back down i'm just going to scroll aside so my voice isn't heading behind me it's projecting towards you rather instead and let's take this a full arm this time inhale sweep on up exhale bend that left elbow come all the way down to the back of that right shoulder two more just like that before we hold it inhale open exhale scoop it under last one inhale open exhale scoop it under and hold and you can play with your position of your left hand here i like to come into spider fingertips really push the back of that right shoulder into the ground drag it away from you breathe into it Two more breaths, big inhale, big exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, beautiful, I want you to stay where you are with your upper body, untuck the toes, and just shimmy your knees, open them wide, back into the child's pose position, just notice if you get a deeper stretch here in the upper body. One more breath again, pushing the back of that right shoulder into the ground, dragging it away from you. And then slowly, slowly coming up. Oh gosh, that makes a huge difference for me. Just a reminder that I need to do this more often. And let's switch sides. So let's start with that hand behind the head on the left side. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap the elbow to right two more inhale exhale close last one inhale exhale close let's do the full sweep of the arm this time inhale sweep it open exhale come all the way under you can even come under the spider fingertips if that feels good already inhale open if you have that space exhale scoop under last one inhale open Exhale, scoop it under, keep those hips high to start with, hold it right here, push the back of that left shoulder down the ground, pull it away from you, breathe, breathe, breathe. And then if you can, just shimmy those knees open a little bit wider, sink back into that child's pose, hips down towards the floor, just see if you can come at this stretch a little bit deeper beautiful three two one and lift on up nice you can lean back with those knees open big toes touch just come into the seated position just get into those wrists take it one way and take it the other Beautiful, stay nice and still. Left hand is gonna sweep back, place spider fingertips behind you, reach that right arm up, and lift those hips forward. Beautiful, so sideways on, let's take that to the other side. Big toes touch, knees open wide, right hand, spider fingertips, sweep that left arm open. So you're really opening the chest, front of the body, hip flexors, quadriceps. And keep coming through, sweep and lift. Sweep, lift it up, beautiful, oh, that should feel good. One more each side. Finish off on the right. Nice, come back through center. We're gonna head into pigeon. Let's give those hips and glutes some love. So you can just come from this tabletop position, draw that right knee forward, take it right behind that right wrist, and extend that left leg long. Now I'm gonna stay nice and high to start with. And only if it feels good, you're not having any pinching in the back, come down. On 
onto those forearms. A great little cue here, my friends, is taking that lobster claw with that right hand, place it into that right hip flexor, and then draw that right hip, right glute down. And then just come onto your forearms. Send some breath, send some love to that right glute, right hip. Beautiful, feel free to come all the way down. I'm gonna be here for about another 30 to 40 seconds. I love stacking one fist on top of the other here. Focusing deeply, right hip, right glute. Don't forget about that breath, big inhale. Big exhale. Last one, big inhale, big exhale, beautiful, slowly start to come up from your hands and then shift your weight all the way to that right hip and then sweep, 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 sweep that left leg all the way around. So the left foot is placed on the outside of that right knee. Take the left hand behind, inhale that right arm up. And just twist to the left. So you can do many options here. I can just wrap my arm around that knee. I can bend that arm and just wedge that elbow or extend that arm, whatever feels good to you. But inhale to lengthen. Imagine that piece of string in the crown of the head. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to turn. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn a little more. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn a little more. Beautiful, just counteract that with a twist to the other side. And sweep those legs all the way behind you. Let's take that to the other side. So starting in that cat-cow position, tabletop, and then just draw that left knee behind that left wrist, shimmy that right leg back. Stay upright to start with, okay? So, I often find that people say they find some pinching in the back, so they wanna collapse straight down. I want you to just stay there, stay in that breath, and really focus on dropping this left hip, left glute down towards the floor. And slowly come down onto those forearms. Take that left lobster claw, place it inside that left hip flexor, draw that hip, draw that glute down towards the floor. We're here for about another 30 to 40 seconds, so feel free, take one fist on top of the other. Big inhales, big exhales, left glutes, left hip. One more breath. And then slowly coming up. Lean over to the left this time. And sweep that right leg all the way around, around, around. If having this bottom leg, should have said this maybe on the other side as well, if having this bottom leg bent does not work for you, extend that leg nice and long. Whatever feels good. Okay, this time take the right spider fingertips behind you. And spider fingertips, I love it because it just creates more length in the spine. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. And exhale, twist to the right. Find that spot that works for you. Maybe just wrapping that leg, maybe wedging the elbow, maybe extending that arm. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Last one. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Ooh. And then release. Just do a little counter twist there. Beautiful. 
and come back to all fours. Two more cat cows. Inhale, chest forward, eyes forward. Exhale, flow with that breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Tuck those toes, belly button, spine, tuck that pelvis, shift those hips up, downward dog. And just walk out your dog here, get into the backs of those legs, bend deeply into the right leg. And then the left. One more each side, the right. And then the left. And then slowly, slowly, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Meet me in this forward fold position. And then open up your feet a little bit wider than hip width. Dangle the head down, grab hold of opposite elbows, rock side to side. Feel the left thing in that spine. Use that breath, inhale and exhale. Nice, hands back down towards the floor. Open up those feet a little bit wider. Open up those toes and come down into a Malasana squat. So inhale, hands are on the floor, chest up, eyes up, drive into those heels. Beautiful, exhale, back that fold. Flow through this. We're doing four more. Inhale, chest forward, eyes forward. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Last one. Inhale, come down. Beautiful. Exhale, fold. Walk those feet in. And slowly, 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 round all for standing. Beautiful, let's get into those hips, inner thighs a little bit more. So open up those feet nice and wide, nice plie squat. Open up those toes, and we're gonna very slowly come on down and then hold. And you can just rock side to side here. Prayer position that works quite well here, elbows out nice and wide. Or just hands on the hips, working that inner thigh area. Beautiful. And then just up and down. Don't have to extend the legs too long. The range of motion doesn't have to be too big. Nice. So we're going to do that in little sets of four, a little bit of a flow. So come on back down and flow side to side for four, three, two, one. Back through center, four little squats. Four, three, good. Two, one, just one more round of those. Come down nice and low, maybe a little bit lower. Four, three, two, one. Up and down for four, three, two. Create a little bit of heat. One, come down, stay down. Hands can be on the thighs. Bring those fingers on the inside of the thighs. We should drop that right shoulder down. So you're getting a beautiful stretch in the upper body and in this inner right thigh. Come back through center, you can straighten those legs, take it to the other side. So you can stay nice and low with those legs and just switch from side to side, allowing a little bit of pressure on the inside of that leg to get it into that inner thigh. Okay, breathe, use that breath, flow through it for four, three, two, Last one, beautiful. Bring your hands down towards the floor and just come all the way back to your hands and knees. Two more cat cows, I love a cat cow. You know me, I love it for the spine. Inhale, chest forward, eyes forward. Exhale round. Last one, inhale, chest forward, eyes forward. Exhale round. And then just start to walk back. Keep those toes tucked. Stay on your knees. Let's just do a little toe soles of the feet stretch. So try to stay here as long as you can. I'm going to be here for about 30 seconds. Okay, if it gets too much, just release. Come back into it. Really drop your weight all the way onto those heels. Take a little look. Bring that pinky toe forward. It's not sticking out. 
find that spot on the floor. Think about all the weight and work we've put on our feet. So stretching them out this way is a beautiful thing we're doing for them. 10 more seconds. Whew. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And slowly come forward and then just flutter those feet. And then come on back, sweep those legs forward, diamond shape. Soles the feet together, knees open wide. And just forward fold. So I like to take hold of the outside of the feet. You can keep your thumbs in there. Give yourself a little bit of a massage. A little rock side to side. Beautiful, let's finish off with one more side stretch. So bring the right heel right in towards the groin, extend that left leg off at an angle, so it's not directly straight out to the side. And just allow this right knee to be nice and heavy. Root those sit bones down, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, take this left hand all the way onto the inside of this left leg. And a great cue here, a great little tip, is just lift that leg up and wedge your fingers under. If you can't, you can just take hold of the knee if you can't reach down that far. But wedge your fingers underneath that leg and then open up that right shoulder, right chest a little bit more and reach on under. Sorry, not under, over. Another great little place to be here is you can place your hand behind your head. Open up that belly, open up that chest, open up that shoulder, stretch, side stretches, spine stretches, the S's and the S's definitely feel incredible to me. One more breath, stay right here. And then let's flow through this a little bit. So inhale, right hand behind you, left arm over. Exhale, back to that stretch, not so deep this time. One more inhale, open. Exhale, back through. Beautiful. Switch it up. Left leg in. Let that left leg just be nice and heavy. Inhale, reach those arms up. This time, right arm is going to come on the inside of that right leg. And play that little trick again. Lift that leg up. Wedge my fingers under. So my palm is facing up. Wedge my fingers under. And then you can take your hand to that shoulder, open it up. Place the hand behind the head, extend the arm nice and long, whatever works for you. Breathe here, about three more big deep breaths. Big inhale. Big exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. And let's flow, exhale, come on up, sweep that right arm over, exhale back through, two more, inhale up, exhale through, last one, inhale over, exhale through, beautiful, bring your hands back through centre. And I'm going to invite you to all stay in a seated position. If you want to lay down and take Shavasana, you know where to go. Make yourself nice and comfy. Otherwise, just come with me in a nice tall seat on your knees, legs crossed. Hands just placed gently on your thighs. Just notice if you feel any different in your body, if you feel a little bit softer, a little bit more relaxed. If you feel in a better position to take on the rest of the day, maybe doing this at lunchtime, do you feel nice and relaxed to get into bed? And finish either with your hands where they are or bring them into pair position in front of the chest, chest to thumbs, thumbs to chest. And I want you just to thank yourself, give yourself an imaginary pat on the back for taking this time for you. I teach this, I coach this, I train this. This is what I do. And I also sometimes find it hard to find the time. So well done.
Have a wonderful day. Take care, keep moving, and I'll see you all very soon. Namaste.